the Bible. Go read that chapter. And 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 you hear Bafundis Basi, and egg and long and a young person who's younger than me in the Lord, and let the leave. This young boy that day is so powerful, is running. Uh, the word of the Lord was read. There was no widespread revelation. Now you hear this young boy decided to do the unthinkable. What he did, he just worshiped the Lord. Ministered set at the ark of the Lord. And God spoke. And God prophesied against Eli. So you have a lot of foolish about the only thing that Eli had this young man is experience because when he heard the Lord, he did not know the voice of the Lord. He says, now, this is God speaking to you. If, if, he, if he speak to you now, just say, Lord, here I am, I'm listening. That's the only thing he did for him. So when we minister unto the Lord, the word of the Lord will come. I want to I wanna, I wanna rush quickly this. If you read in the book of Acts chapter number 16, go to Acts 16, you see the results. Paul and Silas, they were in prison. You are in financial prison. My goodness. You are in a relationship prison. You, 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 you oh my goodness. Your, your, your marriage is about to break. You understand? There's nothing that can work. Begin to do ministration. Now, one of the, before we go to Acts, before, before you go to Acts, one of the things that you must do in ministering unto it is to speak a lot in tongues because if you speak a lot in tongues, you are also ministering. Together with your worship, you are also what? Ministering. Zephaniah 3.9 tells us, put Zephaniah 3.9. Put Zephaniah 3.9. Can you read Zephaniah 3.9? I don't hear you. I don't hear. Can you read louder? To serve him with what? One accord. You see that when you speak the pure language, the pure language is tongues. You are able to call upon the name of the Lord and not only that, but you serve the Lord. Now, let's go to, uh, to Acts 16 now. Acts 16, verse 25. Now, when you speak in other tongues, you, you know, you, you are in the spirit. It's like you're practicing Ephesians number 5. Oh, we will read. I just want to show you two things of the results of ministering unto the Lord. I want to show you two results. This is the New Testament. Read in the New Testament. Look at it. But at midnight, let's read. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were doing what? Praying. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read. And, 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 and. Now, a lot of people do the praying. They don't do the end. Do you understand? They were praying and, and they were doing what? Singing what? Hymns. Okay, what are hymns? What are hymns? Hymns are not Lamakula's Let's read uh, number 68 or 100 and ban, 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 ban. No, that, those are not hymns. Hymns are songs in honor of the Lord. You understand? Not any other song. A song that is in honor, in consecration of the Lord. And I can call it, and then you expect that the Holy Spirit will come. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. The Holy Spirit will not come when I sing such songs. I sing songs. That is why Elia said, Ujesua, Uyapila. I worship because it's a lie. I will not be afraid. I'm not afraid of death. I'm worshiping. You don't understand what I'm singing. I'm singing the song. It means a lot to me because I know that I will not die before my time. Paul and Silas, they were praying, and the end is very important. They were singing hymns to God. 
not to any other person. A lot of songs that we sing in the song in the church today, they are about us. For example, this is a good song. I know who I am. Do you understand? It's a good song because it speaks about me and what the Lord has done for me. It's not to God. Pronouncing Jesus, what a wonder you are. You are so gentle, so pure, and so calm. Like a bright morning star, Jesus, what a wonder you are. You see that, Pastor Obama? Now I'm talking to the Lord. Look at look at Paul and Silas. They did not have CD players or, or, or YouTube or, or whatever. They just sang. They just sang. And the Bible says the prisoners were listening. Now, when you are worshiping the Lord, let people listen to what you're saying. You don't sing just for not people to listen. They must listen. And the result in verse 26, look at the results. Look at the results. Look at the results. Suddenly, let me tell you, when you are in true worship, when you are worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth, there is a suddenly, there is a suddenly, if we need quick results, Pastor Olbam, let's learn to worship the Father. Let's learn to worship Him in spirit and in truth. A lot of people are dying of depression. If you can just minister, There is a suddenly. There was a great earthquake so that the foundation of their prisons was shaken. But Solomon, your prison might be that relationship. Your prison, that marriage, that finances. Shake the foundation of those prisons. Shake the foundation of those prisons. Shake them. Shake them. Shake them. Maybe are bound by sin. I was talking about alcohol and fornication. Let me tell you. Don't go before the Lord and say, Lord, help me. I tell you to go back. Just minister. By the Holy Spirit, what are you doing? You are put into death. Am I talking to someone here? Huh? This is a demonic repeller. A mosquito coil. We are burning an incense. Mosquito coil. The Lord of the flies, which is the devil. The Bible says Satan is the Lord of the flies. Just burn the incense of worship. Just burn the incense of true worship. True worship. Bring true worship. That is accompanied in tongues. We are filled with the Spirit. I'm going to give you two verses and then I close. Go to the book of Okay, the, the, and, and, and the chains were loose. Did you see that the chains were loose? Now, 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 go to in the Old Testament. Jehoshaphat learned that thing in Second Chronicles twenty twenty. Look, let's go from verse twenty. Go Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles twenty twenty. Then we go, we go, we go twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Let's read all of us. See what is it? See, see this thing. and went into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God. You shall be established. Believe in his prophets. You shall prosper. Verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, look what he did. He appointed those who should do what? Sing to the Lord, not to anybody. Sing to what? Sing to what? To the Lord. And who should praise what? The beauty of his holiness. As they went out before the army, they were saying, 
Praise the Lord. His mercies endure it forever. As they do that, look at the results 23, 7, 22. Now, when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambush against the people of Ammon and Moab in Mount Sinai, who have come against Judah, and they were defeated. I pray the love, Pastor Lord. I pray the love. 23. For the people of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Mount Seir to utterly destroy them, kill and destroy them. And when they've made the end of the inhabitants of Seir, they help to destroy one another. But Salwan, as you are worshiping the Lord, you are confusing the enemy. They will destroy each other. You don't have to pray and say, let my enemies die. Let them die. Let them die. Hey, minister unto the Lord. Minister unto the Lord. Minister unto the Lord. No. Lift up your hands. Bow down. And worship and say, Lord, I love you. Just love the Lord. Be like that human and woman in the book of Matthew, chapter number 15. The Bible says, He that woman went to Jesus and said, Jesus, my daughter is dying, is possessed by demons. Demons are saying, Hey, tell us, sing what's happening. danger. But the Bible says, That woman did an unthinkable. She worships, she bowed. He said, Jesus of mercy, even dogs eat the crumbs from the master of the table. And said, Jesus said, great is your faith, woman. The Bible says that very hour, the demon went out of that woman. Church, when we can spend a lot of time, speak in our tongues. After you have meditated on the Lord, on the word of the Lord, you speak in other tongues. You worship the Lord. You sing unto the Lord a new song. A new song. I tell you, demons will be. You will not be a playground of demons. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, church? Let's learn to minister unto the Lord. Let's learn to minister unto the Lord. Now, as I close, I'm going to close it. How? Because you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Go to Ephesians, chapter number five. I'm closing. I've tried to give you everything. I wanted to give you the keys now of worship, you know. But time is not allowing me. I'm, verse 18. I'm going to close with it. But, you know, worship is a key. It's a master key that opens doors for us. Worship is a master key. Now, 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 now. If you read Matthew, chapter number 16, verse 19. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. What does he say? Can you read? Matthew 16. We're going to come there. Matthew 16. What does he say? I will give you what? The keys of what? Of the kingdom. Whatever you do what? You bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you lose where on earth is loose in heaven. What are the keys of, of what are the keys? What are the keys of the kingdom? They are found in Isaiah 22 verse 22. And, 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 and Revelation 3 verse 7. It's the same verse. Look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Isaiah 22, verse 22. The key of the house of David. Ah. You know, the of us all, man. We must not practice our cool. Babaton will be in our hands. Not only Babaton, even Bombella, even Pumala. Because the Bible says, the key of the house of David, I will lay it on his, on his shoulder. So he shall open. No one can shut. He shall shut. No one shall open. That means, Pastor Mom, we don't have to curse the government. We don't have to fight for the government. All we must do as a church is to have the key of David. If you read from, from, from verse 20 there, you find that 
it is talking about the key that will give him the keys of the government which is the key of David Jesus re reiterated in, in Revelation 3 7 Revelation 3 7 look at Revelation 3 7 Revelation 3 7 I'm trying to be fast not these verses look at that it says and to the angel of the church of Philadelphia write these things to he who is holy he who is true he who has the key of what of David you open door when no man can close what is the key of David the key of David is a key of worship David was a worshiper David fought wars not even a single war war that he lost what made him to do that he was worshiping and the Lord will give him a strategy let me tell you the strategy for your business is found here the strategy for your financial success is found here the strategy for relocation and for whatever God is sending you is found here the strategy for the city is found here the key of David when we have the key of David we worship the Lord David was a worshiper he doesn't say I will give you the key of Solomon I will give you the key of Abraham he said I will give you the key of David David will play the harp demons will flee He will give you a harp. Play, I mean, play a harp. And what? Demons will just disappear. The key of David. If this worship team can know how to worship the Father. Let me tell you, people are crying about money, about looting, about billions. The billions are here. The treasures in the darkness are here. Here. Let me show you how to do this thing. Ephesians 5 as I close. But hold on. Are you, are you with me? I am teaching you something powerful here. Practice this thing. You know, some of you are working, you don't have time. Just worship the Lord as you drive. Learn that art. That's why men and pani lift. I'm telling you. Because the people will disturb me. One day I prayed from here. Just worshiping the Lord. As I'm off here, Kimba. I couldn't feel the way. I couldn't feel the way. It was worship. All the way. As I'm off here, Kimba. Kimba. Do you know Kimba how far? Huh? It's over a thousand kilometers. I, I wake up on three X ray and I actually I'm up on twelve episodes, not three. I remember. Now I can't do that. I was a young man. If you are young, make adventures. Now I can't do that. You see? Look at it, how to do it. Let's, let's, let's finish this thing. Let's finish this thing. And, oh, now it ends up. Now I say, 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 do not be what? Drunk with what? Wine, which is debauchery. You know that word, dispensation or debauchery? It's found in, it's, 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 it has to do with orchids. Do you know what orchids are? Ah, Basalan, I'm not my orchids. Okay, I'll tell you. My orchids is, you'll find that there's a, there's a, there's a, in one verse there's this, 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 this person, orchids. Orchids is when people that are drunk, they practice what you call, it's, it's more like your sex where, where, where people exchange each other. You see, the, 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 at the same time, like this one is sleeping with this one, and then they change to this one. They, these are ugly. It's like this drunkenness that, that people do unthinkable. You'll find that men sleeping with a man, a man, and then he, he jumped from that man, he sleep with a woman. Have you never heard that? This is what this this is what the Bible says that if you are drunk with one, you will end up in this debauchery. Ugly. You'll end up there. Ogis. About my Ogis, I was No, it's a word. I looked into that word and I found that. There's a book that this lady, a lady wrote. It says, Bear what, 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 what. How many have read that book? Have you read that book? That book, they, they, they say this, these things are happening there. 
was a lady. They wanted to kill her. The big top top businessmen in South Africa. They do this thing. They belong. Bongo and Babo and Aspa the man. Nkabangu sub sagas be doa banla bamiyam. Belong but am sagas top cool running. It is more. Do you are you aware? Why? Have you asked yourself why I belong when we call them homosexuals more? Do you know that homosexuality is a form of worship? We didn't know. I'm telling you, it's a form of worship. Every time when you see Jezebel, Jezebel had to take wives for his for his husband. Ahab. He had male prostitutes. Go to the Bible. Jezebel had male prostitutes. This is what the Bible says. They were homosexuals, protecting the kingdom. That's why Jezebel, Jezebel was to Elijah. Like, hey! What the past? Why? The demons came strong against Elijah. Many billionaires today, many billionaires, I'm telling you, many billionaires, they are great worshippers. They are homosexuals. Not those homosexuals I'm talking about are not the ones that are doing like this. No, 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 no. That's a lower level. I'm telling you, that's a lower level. Those ones that are in suits like me. They are in suits like me. They are in suits like me. They are executives. They run the economy. You say, ah, uh, there is a level in life of money. You will never get there except to become a worshiper. The one, one man of God years ago, I, I remember his name was Corsa, Corsa, something like that, from Alexandra. He said, show me a rich man. I will show you a worshiper. I started to investigate that statement. Only to discover this true. I interacted with a lot of business. Me as your pastor, I interact with a lot of billionaires. I'm talking about why than, than many of you combined here. And I've seen that there are many of them, they are worshippers. They will never tell you. They, they are in secret societies. The Freemasons. Oh, Jesus. This is a high level. I'm a gentleman joining your part. I'm a partner. You know why? 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 But I'm a partner. It's a spirit of poverty. What's happening? Think about that. You're going to be a chicken all your life. A chicken is a fearful person. Oh, my goodness. We are, we are, but you will become fearful all the days of your life. You'll, your, your success will be limited. It's a form of limitation. I'm telling you, the form of witchcraft that white people are doing is on another level. It's not your ordinary way. That's why when you fight those demons, you can say, out, out, out. Those demons, you cannot be out, out. They need true worship. They need proper worship. That's why Eli, I mean, Moses had to lift up holy hands for a very long time to fight the Amalekites, the giants. You will never fight the giants except to learn to lift up holy hands. Why this and that and that? Let me tell you, if you want to prove me, start becoming a worshiper and say, Lord, let me tell you what the Bible is saying. This is the Bible. Imalia let the mind as a shiva man. Yakala. A shiva. Solomon, King Solomon, King Solomon, Stop praying for job. Pray for divine direction. This is the way to go. But be filled with the Holy Spirit. How? How do you feel with the Holy Spirit? How do you worship in truth? 
Verse 19 as I close. Speaking to yourself. I ah, put, put the King James. You can't speak to another. Ah, look at that. Look at that. King James. King James. King James. Speaking what? To yourself. What? Psalms. Eh? Hymns. Nama hymns bang in Jalangao. Love Boston Paula Wawa Wawa Kuluma. What Sabuga Tibop? What Sabuga foundations? Ah, the Kuluma Lama hymns. Bangala read the Befna Ati Kula Ma hymns. Uti, speak, singing, and making melody in the Lord. Begin that. Day after date. Mouse a person. Get those earphones. Put out worship and just worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. We have game 17. Uma ungena. Ungena na atmosphere. Let different. Uma ungena. Usa basin. Ufaka ma earphone sack. We are worshiping the Lord. You ungena na atmosphere. Let different. Your day will not be the same. You will become a victor day after day. You will have attacks. You will not say, why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? That thing will not be part of your vocabulary. Am I talking to someone here? Am I talking to someone? I want you to lift up your hands and just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord right now. Just worship Him. Worship Him. Ah. Oh. Be still. Be still. Let's be still. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord.